Welcome back to Songster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and it's time to play another DLC of Panzer Car 2. This time it's Axis Operation 1945. So let's go. Right, 1945 it is. The outcomes of the battles of 1944 set the stage for the beginning of 1945. Who knew? In history, German high command stubbornly refuses to give up the fight for Hungary and its oil fields, prolonging the struggle over the final German-European ally. But in the alternate history, the successful German winter offensive in 1944 crushes Soviet ambitions for Romania, forcing the Red Army to once again go on the defensive. 9 out of 18 scenarios, so I've assumed that there are 18 scenarios so long you can play 9 of them because every time you can pick between 2. 1945 offers two paths for your campaign. The first path follows the events of history, with your Wehrmacht Kampfgruppe continuing the desperate battle for Hungary. The second path follows the German victory at the Battle of Ploesti, a new offensive to deal with the Soviet salient that remains from their attempt to invade. Let's do alternative history, let's just go a little crazy. Let's go crazy, guys. Let's have some. For a second, I thought my mic wasn't picking up my voice because that happened to me with the last video that I was recording. But I noticed it soon enough, so I didn't have to re record the whole thing, so I was pretty happy about that. I don't wonder if there are going to be any new strengths and weaknesses. I certainly hope so. I always enjoy those. I'll pick the basics that I always pick, like Green Army, you know, I'm gonna do it because I do it every time. There might be some exciting new stuff that we could pick as well. So let's see. Ooh, Old Guard, I think that's new. All dead units are reformed with one point of strength and half experience. Aggressive deployment, friendly units do not lose their attack action when deploying from organic transport. Force concentration can assign one extra hero. Nice. Meticulous planning. All ground units get two movement action points. Okay, so we're gonna rename our general here. After my my patrons, this is going to be Rudy. And <laughs> it does not get combat prediction. Yeah, how about no on that? Uh, I think we'll stick to green army and to bad luck because I like it. Huh. Friendly units do not shoot bad if an attack by the enemy. That's really bad. Yeah. Some of these are really bad. Let's just pick bad luck. Um, I think we'll take the standard stuff. We'll get Panzer General to make tanks cheaper. Uh, auxiliary force is really good, but I don't think we super need it, like, because we're not going to be do do doing that many missions here. Um, hmm, I think I'll take Meticular Spanning. That sounds really good. Because if you can move in two steps, it's kind of like every unit is Recon now. Well, actually, no, Recon can move more than two times, but it, just the ability to move and fall back is pretty cool. Uh, and I think we'll go extra movement points on tanks. Oh, I still have one more. Okay, um, we'll take. Hmm, none of these are particularly... Oh! Friendly in the Hex cancels enemy zone of control on that Hex. That sounds pretty cool. That sounds really good, actually. Oba, Stefan Wagner, reporting for duty. Oberstand folks at your service. Gentlemen, a quick update before we begin today. Dreadful winter weather has mostly frozen the front lines in place since our victory at the Battle of Plasti. And while our victory has ended the immediate threat to our Romanian and Hungarian allies, the huge salient the Soviets carved out of West Eastern Poland last year still remains. Like Kirk's before, I fear it is a problem we must inevitably deal with or risk the Soviets using it as a springboard for a new offensive this year. I agree, but for now, we have a different assignment. General Rudy, we have received orders to perform a deep recon behind enemy lines at the behest of Reich Minister Speer himself. Intriguing. A mission motivated by a request from the Ministry of Industry and Production of involves performing a reconnaissance in force and I wholeheartedly approve. Unfortunately, no. If we try to make this an opportunity to seize territory back from the Soviet we risk showing our hand. Then what cards are we holding exactly? 
We have been slowly tightening our grip over the Caucasus since 1943. It quickly became obvious the enormous distance from Berlin to Baku was a serious logistical problem. Have you been able to rely on existing Soviet pipelines between Rostov and Baku and keep the oil flowing? The transport of equipment, munitions, and troops is another story. Before the Soviets launched their summer offensive in 1944, plans were in motion to build a special railroad system. The Bright Spurban. What's so special about the new rail lines? I'm afraid I'm no rail engineer, but the simple explanation seems to be that this train would run on the tracks that are twice as wide from the standard European gauge. These new rails are incompatible with existing trains and tracks. They're meant to be completely separate system. I see. Much larger trains for much larger cargoes. It would certainly make transporting some of our heaviest panzers a much simpler task. That was the plan. But the Soviet operation Kutuzov interrupted construction the main route through Reich Commissariat Ukraine is now blocked by the Soviet salient. Reich Minister Speer informed us that he ordered the construction sites to be only abandoned, not destroyed, and now he wants us to investigate their status. So we need to secure any nine victory hexes. Control all four district centers before securing the nine victory, victory hex. Okay. High efforts are to be focused in the forested region south of the Pripyat marshes. To reach this deep behind enemy lines, our force is limited to a handful of units. And even if you wanted to bring air support, the snowy weather would render them inoperable anyways. There are many sites in the forest to investigate. And we will need to inspect several of these locations to piece together a picture of the overall status of the abandoned Breitspurban construction depots. Yeah, General, I recommend caution around these district centers. If there is anywhere that is likely to be housing significant Soviet troops formation during the winter, it will be in these large towns. You could navigate around them. Or if you think we have enough strength in our small strike team, try to take them by force. The choice is yours. The victory for Germany. All right. But I saw some heroes. <laughs> A lot of heroes. <laughs> Let's just click through them. So many heroes. Do they get out of the sign? Sometimes they get out of the sign. Uh, we have some money and some units left, so I'm going to buy some extra stuff. Uh, we want to mostly go for tanks simply because... Well, actually, there's forests, so it's not so great to have, like, a tanks and forests. But I will buy some just because I made them cheaper, so it just kind of feels weird to not. Uh, I will also buy some artillery because if you've watched me play any of these games, you know that artillery is literally my favorite thing ever. So we're going to get those. Um... I don't need to be like the biggest, baddest artillery, just like something. Let's get this one. Or purchase. Uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna buy a few of these by myself and then we'll come back together once I'm done with this. I actually just bought one extra thing because we're kind of done with our... Um, with our... We don't do have enough core souls. Actually, this time auxiliary force would be really good because we have a lot of money, but we just don't have enough in terms of just like, just in terms of like space. So oh, we're just gonna end up one. We're just gonna go. Oh, yeah. Let's assign some more heroes. All right, time for our first turn. So we were told that we could go down here from the bottom to move around here, but I think this first area is probably not gonna have that many people in it there are probably a bunch of people in in a cobble so we might not want to go down that path but i think this this middle part could be fine uh this is recon yes so we should be able to move pretty easily here i just want to see yeah it's just a single unit uh two minus five is pretty good i would like it if there was maybe an option yeah to just start without getting hit ourselves at all This is now minus one five, that's very, very good. Oh, these have like no movement. Um, we're gonna move ahead with the tanks because I think they've got the best protection in terms of just like not getting hit. Like you won't be able to get close enough with anybody else, unfortunately. Now I would love to take my other Hmm, I'm not going to be able to get close enough with my other artillery, am I? Like, to protect anybody from getting hurt? I don't think so. So how close can this artillery go? We can move it here, so I'll do that. And I'll move the other units, like, adjacent. 
Because again, we know that probably in Kuval there will be stuff to fight. Yeah. This is another artillery. Okay. Now in that case, let's start moving our tanks ahead here. We definitely want to stay protected behind our own artilleries. And we also got a high ground bonus, which is always nice. I could just sort of go in, but I'm not sure if... Yeah, but 0-4 is really good, but if we move ahead, then we're not protected with our artillery, which is not as good. But they also surrendered, so... Yeah, we don't get that protection on that particular tank, but... But these odds are so good. Look at that, like 0-3. Could anyone else get close enough to hit it? No. Okay, so then we're not going to be foolish. We're just going to get a little bit close. Uh, this is an infantry. Let's just make sure everybody's sort of standing around our... Our artilleries. So we can get some nice protection. Um... I could get close enough if this guy moved away. What would be the odds? Yeah, minus one nine. Let's do that. That's that's good enough. That's great. And we got minus one five. You, you guys can't get close enough, unfortunately. No. Let me just move move ahead with the people that can get close enough anyways. So we can sort of get started. And then we'll figure out the, the people that can. What we're gonna do with them. But Yeah, I think we're just gonna take this attack. Because, like, why wouldn't we? Alright. Got our first hex out of nine. I think next we'll probably go down here. They did tell us that the airstrikes aren't really that important, but I mean, if we can get it, why not, right? They, they didn't do anything. That was interesting. Okay. All right, now they've got a big bunch of stuff over here. Now remember, we only have one artillery, so we gotta make sure wherever we're gonna be ending our positions, that we are protected by that artillery. Like, if I move this ahead, then this artillery would need to go a step closer. I guess it could. Oh, I have another one. Let's try to get minus four up here. Yeah, I will take a step closer and hit these. This thing here. We gotta figure out how we're moving with that artillery momentarily. Like, if I take this step closer with you. Oh, this artillery can't move? I thought I could move. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. Okay, so let's move with the other one to make sure that our units here are protected. And we'll start hitting their infantry. I guess we'll just go like this. And we'll just stand. And we'll make sure that we are protected with our people, with our artilleries. It's a little sad we can just drop. Well, I could drop that tank, but if I move there with somebody else... Again, we're just going to be in a world of trouble in terms of, you know, in terms of just like being alone in enemy territories. So I don't super want to do that. Yeah, let, let's just kill these guys instead. Yeah, we're going to move down here towards this airfield. We've got the space to do it. Uh, minus one, minus four is nice, but what if we just started with the artillery? Oh, this is anti-tank. This is even better. So let's just take the anti-tank and just go in. Why would we take anything else? Oh, that was quick. 
And we have this little tank here that allows us to destroy this. Can't quite walk in. Ooh, okay, so there's a bigger unit here. So we definitely need to get mo moving to protect our stuff. Hmm. Then this is a grounded thing. I think let's just go at the infantry. Could someone move to this hex now? Trying to figure out what's the best positioning for this artillery, because I want to make sure that it's protected. If I move it here, they'll just go straight in it. And they'll be in trouble. Can we do a forced march? Yes. Oh, but then they'll be like in a transport, which I don't want. Did not go as well as we had hoped, maybe. Okay, but here I could move in front. Let's do that. And this is gonna be like in a transport in a mounted system. Can I unmount though? Oh no, okay, well that was a bad move then. Thought I could, uh, we could undo it, but nah. It was an honest mistake, so we're gonna stick to it, I guess. <laughs> um. I don't know if this close, would that be helpful? Do we want to fight on multiple fronts? Because I could move just down here. Maybe let's just move down here and just try to help protect our people here. So if they go and attack us, we get a bit better defense. This artillery cannot move anywhere, so it's not really going to do much. So just move one step ahead. Uh, I'll move with somebody. I don't want to move here because this way this artillery is protected. If I move somebody there, they won't get that protection anymore, so that's not as useful. I'll move down. I don't know how much more ahead I want to move. Let's maybe move there. Just sort of get started with our infantry, but don't go anywhere crazy. I think that's good. I think we're gonna end our turn here. Yeah, so they have their own artillery hitting us, unfortunate, but that's what our artillery is for, to just help protect. Ooh, I don't know if we have anti, like... We have only against soft targets, I think. So, yeah, okay. Well, that was not myself. But that's why you can see that their infantry didn't attack, but their tanks did, because our thing is not good against tanks. Ooh, nice. We hit them a lot more than they hit us. Did I drop them? We are getting a mass attack bonus. Uh, we're also getting an encircle bonus, so I definitely want to take that. Mm. Let's drop this, because that should... Yeah, I don't know if it will encircle them, maybe. Yes, it will. So that will give us a bonus on this tank as well. Also, if we could hit it hard enough, which we can't do just yet, but potentially that could give us enough to... to make it surrender because it has like nowhere to go, basically. So we killed this infantry, so that's good. Could you get out? You could. And we let somebody stronger come in. Like you. One three is the best I can get over here. The one suppression is normally not good, but because I'm trying to get them to surrender, I think it might be helpful. Did not go as well as we had hoped. Huh. Minus four or minus five. That's definitely a painful opportunity. If I move you away. One, two is not great. We can take it, but it's not... Okay, now it's only two, five.
can't get close enough with anybody else. Uh, I'll take the two five. Oh, I'll take it. This is now good. I don't know if we need to like recover one point. That seems kind of pointless. <laughs> Pun intended, I guess. Let's focus on the top now. Yeah, this artillery is not great for us here. If we drop it, I can do some damage to it. I was hoping it would have range, but it doesn't. Oh, we got over? Nice, let's do it again. Right? Uh, their artillery is dead. Unfortunately, that doesn't super change our odds in terms of attacks, because they're all still really, really bad. Hmm. Whatever they've got here is like real strong. I'm definitely going to need to elite replace these guys because they're not doing good. None of these attack are good. Sort of worrying. This is an anti-tank. So you need to go there. How do you have such a bad like this is a tank? I am an anti-tank and still I'm absolutely being destroyed by Oh, it's because they have another artillery here. Interesting. Okay, but if I moved... You back. You step to the side, you forward. Why can't you hit anybody? Still not close enough, I guess. Yeah. Let's move forward with that artillery too. This artillery is just like not no, this is this is the anti thing, this is not artillery. Um doesn't seem all that useful here. I guess I'll keep it, but you need somebody to go and attack that. Could you do it? Probably not, but we can at least get close. So maybe in future turns, get it going. The last artillery is going to take forever to move anyway. Yeah, that's just down. Uh, does anyone else need replacing here? No, everybody else is at full HP, so I think we get... Um, yeah, I think we're good. Right, this is finally where we actually get our uh, artillery help. Because the problem is we only have against soft targets, so if they go with their heart with their tanks, it's kind of like eh. Not much we can do there. Okay, that was pretty good. Considering how strong their stuff is, I'm surprised that we got such a good result out of it. You, I, think we'll, I, I was thinking about whether I want to like um, resupply it, but it doesn't look like it's needed. These guys so it look like more like they could use some resupply, but let's first start attacking, attacking this infantry. Oh, oh no. I was gonna move at the infantry there but uh, let's hit the tank I think the tank is just worth the you want to hit it more okay we can so now let's hit the artillery then 
Gotta be a little careful in our placement to make sure that we don't end up in a position where... Which is kind of what we're looking at right now, where we're gonna end up without protection from our artillery. On the other hand, I do kind of want to move. So. My general, our forces have secured an airfield and seized a handful of intact Soviet fighters that appear to have been grounded due to poor weather. These commander fighters now are available to us as captured equipment. Okay, that's great. Cool. Let's move in and let's kill this infantry. Where's my artillery here? I think our best bet would be standing there so that we can protect our front over here. And it could be tempting to move here. And it's really tempting. But it's also, again, we will not get our protection from our artillery if we do that. Maybe let's just elite replace this tank. Maybe let's, no, let's not go crazy. I'll do the same with this. It's all zero, zero. I think there's point in wasting our ammunition for that. Did I move up there? Yeah, let's just do the forced march. Eh, no good odds. Uh, I don't think we want to go at the city yet, so we're just going to move a little bit. A little bit closer, but we're not going to go all in. We just, we don't want to attack just yet. This is so slow. Like, before this gets anywhere, <laughs> we're going to be long dead. Now we know that there was... Hmm. What can I move with? Let's try to move with this infantry. Yeah, like, this is what I'm saying. There, there is some artillery here. And I want to drop it. Are the Grenadiers going to have a good shot against this artillery? They will. Good. What is this? This is an anti-tank. Oh, that, that is not what I meant to click. But I guess I clicked it, so it is what it is. Uh, if we could drop their anti-tank, maybe that would help us in terms of just being able to attack. We can't really get there. I could drop the artillery, but... Minus six and minus six is just too much, I think. Let's start... Uh, so we're gonna use our artillery, I think, on their infantry. That's kind of like the only place where we can go at it. Okay, minus three, minus eight, we'll take it. It's a little painful, but... We can't attack anybody, really? I think at least one person. Okay, let's keep it in the infantry. Minus them, minus two. Uh, we could switch to anti-tank uh, so that we could defend against this guy, which is nice, but... Yeah, I tell you too, but at least we can drop the artillery, which I think is worth it. Okay, not much to do here, so... Since I switched this to anti tank, I don't need to move it around. Yeah, there's just not, not much else to do, so let's just move a little bit ahead, that's it. That thing is so slow. We'll end our turn. Not too bad. Okay. 
Yeah, this is unfortunately not much damage that we're doing here. They didn't hit us that hard, but again, it's just, it's not... Why can I hit with this untie tank? Oh, I have to get in. But even in, like, our odds are so bad. I'm trying to figure out if it's... I could get minus four, minus four. Trying to figure out if it's better to try to focus our attacks on this, or if it's better to just go... Go at our... Go straight in. Yeah, this is like minus five. If I switch this back to artillery... Zero, zero. It's like, what? What do you want from me? This is all so bad. Uh, I guess I'll use my infantry to just go at the tank. Uh, I can force march them away so I can move in with somebody else. Okay, they're already surrendering. Uh, we'll hit their other infantry. We're getting cowls, so that's good. How is this? How do we deal with this? Is still like this is anti tank, but everything I have is just bad at it. <laughs> my infantry can't hit it. My tanks obviously can't hit it because it's anti tank. My artillery is rubbish against it. It's like, come on. Let me. Yeah, no matter what, I'm switching it around. It's just bad either way. I guess I could shoot at it, but it's not going to do much. Oh wait, we will also we took bad luck, so we can get better than uh, presented. So that was actually an unnecessary move. Uh, I guess I can replace some of my units, because like, why not? But this is this is a difficult, difficult thing to hit. Um, we have both against all kind of support, so I will move it forward to protect this uh, this infantry. Just to sort of get something. How are we looking here? Minus one, minus three. Or minus two, minus... Oh, minus two, minus seven. That's way better. Let's do that. You know, it's running like a coward. Ooh. The thing is, you want to figure out a way to get in and then get out. So let's let's try with this unit. We'll hit the minus zero four, and then we'll try to get out. Now let's just get away. I'm gonna kill this because I think I have a chance to get over him. Yes. We could do then minus five on these. So let me try to see if I could get potentially another over them by just like hitting them. Yeah, like now? No. Oh, this is why I don't move before you finish watching for an action. It was such a good plan. Now it's all ruined. Now it's so ruined. Oh well. Um, we do have another artillery. I guess I'll hit him there. Untight. Oh yeah, let's do the zero minus four. That's good with our anti tank. And I think our infantry could probably finish. Oh no, we don't even need to finish. Okay. If you get out, can you get in? Yes. <laughs> Thing is, minus three, minus five is just not particularly. 
Like we can do it, but it's gonna hurt. Okay, mate, how about this? Let's start with this tank, do the zero four. Let's hope you get an overround. And because they're in circle, we have the chance with the minus two, minus five, that they might just surrender. Also, because I, I can start with the tank. Yes. Okay, they're not surrendering, but I can force the march ahead and then hit them. Uh, I'm gonna just resupply here. Uh, I think we'll leave this tank alone for now. Uh, we'll let some of our other units deal with it later. And I think we can slowly start marching up. Not too crazily. Uh, oh wait, I, I don't have any artillery? Oh no. I can get close enough with my artillery. Okay, um... You can go back, but you could go at least like sideways. Yeah, this unit is in trouble, potentially. And I know it's said in a very excited voice. But... Oh, yeah, that's what makes it fun, right? Sometimes... Yeah, these guys, I can move one step ahead. Okay, so there's no one here, so let's just grab this spot. Because we can. But... Yeah. Uh, and I think we'll end our turn. And this is probably going to be our last turn here. Yeah, we gotta figure out how to get in. Yeah, this is untitling especially would be a good a good way to get in. But yeah, I actually think we're gonna end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other game that we play on this channel. See you there. Bye bye!